Shadow and I have come up to the claim site to do some rock hounding. And as you may know, if you watch some of my previous videos, there's some mysteries to this area. I have a lot of questions. I need somebody with a little more knowledge than I have. And I think I found that person. And that person is Jared from hey. Currently Rock Hounding. <laughs> well, I appreciate you uh, inviting us out. This is awesome. I am so grateful that you are here. And this is my first time meeting Jared in person. And he's, I'm actually shorter he's, in person. <laughs> no, he's not. just as awesome in person as he is on his channel currently rock hounding, which is the channel I go to to learn things. And I, I mean that. So I'm really excited about this because I think Jared might be able to shed some additional knowledge and insight on some of the questions I have about the minerals and things we find up here. Well, now you're putting me on the spot. I don't, I don't know about that. I may not be able to shed any light. Maybe, maybe a UV light. We'll see. <laughs> Well, we're going to have some fun. So we got a long ways to go and Sarah is here as well with another friend, Stan. And we're going to hike all the way up around and up, make our way to the very top where the claim is. It'll be awesome. All right, let's get rocking. I drug these poor people. It's the hardest way to get here. <laughs> Not intentionally, but I'm hoping to find the green lava outcropping that might might unravel some of the mystery of the green uh, that we find here. And that's why I brought them the hard way. And I hope that we find it <laughs> after putting them through that. It's actually April 1st. <laughs> it's not go. August. <laughs> if we're lucky, being that it is August, that we've got overcast skies and even a few raindrops. It's much cooler than the past few weeks have been. Okay, so earlier I showed you some rocks and I was like, are these low tier, mid tier? What, how would you rate these? So I'm still saying mid. Okay. Because there's but, some bigger, beautiful pieces that will come that we might have to chisel a little bit to get out. That but. sounds great to me. All right. I'm going to take these though. Though <laughs> I think they're worthy of taking for sure. There's a lot of beautiful stuff right around here. And that triangular shape with the delineation between the outer styration and the inner, and sometimes the inner is actual crystal. I find that all over this mountainside. Yeah, I've been on this mountain many times, so I'm excited to... Well, you, you spotted it, but you let me pick it up. I want you to have that. He just wants me to do all the picking up. Oh, it's a beautiful <laughs> piece. <laughs> well, this, it, I think it lands in the yellow bucket. No, yours. It's oh, yours. All right. It's well, yours. thank you very much. It's, it's my gift to Sarah. There you go. A gift to Sarah, but I carry it. <laughs> A lot, and a lot of samples on this side to pick up. So, although this is very small, it's a good example of the variety of minerals that are in these mountains. We've got the green, the mystery green that I think is olivine. We got the chalcedony. We've got some white quartz crystals you can actually see there's crystals in there too hey sarah this is small but it might help unravel some of the, the mystery there's the green in there oh, and yeah, then that's real green. there's actually visible crystal and huh. suddenly and it's like right, yeah. what is going on here <laughs> yeah, take a look at that one they're finding something down there. I just gave Sarah a little piece to add to your oh, hey. helping us figure out what's going on on this map. That's, that'll, that'll be helpful. That'll be good. I have a lot of different different things in that little specimen. Sarah just found this great seam oh, that I'm carrying around. Oh, that's an around. awesome one. That one's beautiful. 
See, that one I would put as tier one. Even though they can come bigger, but that's a good quality piece. It's got nice color. Yeah, that's beautiful. What would you call the color, though? I well, I, I could say a purple hue, but I, it, it could be in the blue family a little bit. It, I think when you're in that, that, like, blues and purples, it can be really subjective. Yeah. Um, I, I have some blue and purple agate, and I have, like, a I pulled up a, a color wheel. And then you, like, go side by side, and you're like, wait, what am I looking at here? And, and what, what do you think? What would <sighs> you throw that? I mean, it's almost like a, like, purple. Pale purple. It's, it's like a... Or like a almost like a e yeah like a lilac or Easter lilac Easter kind of pastel purple uh huh okay yeah well I don't know. <laughs> I, I've been saying purple hue because you know it's not like a deep purple yeah it's it is just... it's got that little like pastelish color to it almost mm -hmm. yeah well I'm so glad you guys are here well I'm <laughs> glad you invited us out might get to the bottom of some of these mysteries after all. Oh, you're putting too much pressure on me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't mean to do that. But. <laughs> so I'm trying to find some more of the chalcedony in the veins of the rock to show Sarah and Jared because it's really cool. And so you know how it always is, right? If you're actually looking hard for it, you don't find it. When you're not looking for it, it just shows up right in front of you. Something about that. So I'm maybe looking too hard. Oh, there's a beautiful piece right there. That's gorgeous. So I'm showing Jared the piece that I found because I find this triangular shape over and over again, often hollow in the middle or with crystals in the middle. This one's filled in, but nonetheless, you can still see it. I find it to be interesting because there's not many good examples of geologic material like this, rocks, minerals, whatever, that form like this. There's, I have one, I've found one agate that's really, really tiny <laughs> in the Tri-Cities area of Washington that has a flawless fortified triangle in it. And it really makes you think about the geologic thing that was happening to create triangular fortification. Um, I mean, are we thinking about something turning in that perfect orientation as it was formed? Are we thinking about, uh, like, what, what was the scenario that took place that created that. Yeah, I I can't imagine. I have never found uh, a good legit answer, like you know, a paper, anything like that, that really describes them. Um, there is a very popular, famous agate. I can't think of the name of it, but it's all geometric shapes, like tr different triangles. And I don't know if there's anybody's ever really studied those. You know, I mean, the thing that you have to remember is that this stuff isn't valuable that valuable in the sense of like let's throw tons of resources into studying it it's really a lot of like deducing what potentially could have caused something mm -hmm. to form you mm -hmm. know i mean i find all of this super interesting but uh the world of academia might disagree <laughs> yeah yeah well that's a great find that's a good one thank you yeah, the mystery of the triangle shape, because I find it over and over and over again up here. I'm just checking my mail. <laughs> I hold that, Jared, <laughs> all the way. Well, you've been up this mountain now. I hold that thing in the heat of the summer. I wouldn't do it in the summer. <laughs> I, or at least not in, well, it's summer now, it's August, but I wouldn't do it on a sunny day. Yeah, it was a sunny, hot day, and I hauled it. And the crazy thing is I started digging that hole right there. And as I was digging, Shadow was digging. Do you see that little hole? There's still part of it. Do you see that little hole right there? That was Shadow. He was making faster progress than I was. <laughs> He's got more digging experience. <laughs> I almost decided to go with his hole. But there you go. Paperwork's inside. But I, again, I want to let everybody know that they're welcome to Rock Hound on this claim. Sarah found a round ball. Sarah finds the best things. Um, but, uh, okay, so 
this is probably due to pillowing and you can kind of see there's like a little fusion crust uh i haven't seen a whole lot of like pillow basalt lots of different things can pillow um but it's basically just when your extrusive lava comes out and it hits some kind of water and it'll like stack up and it'll like pillow um where you have pillowing you can have like basically seams uh between the pillows and you'll get um different clay minerals packing in there and then later on hot silicas can inject into that and you can find where there's pillowing like in road cuts and stuff or out here apparently um uh different silicas like agates chalcedony and jasper can form between pillows Okay, after all this filming, I discovered I'd never properly paired this microphone right here to the camera. This is my first time using this camera. So all of the audio was coming from the camera itself. And on this windy day, I hope I get some decent audio uh, on this video. And uh, we'll, we'll find out. But from here on out, it should be better. Because this has, you know, a little uh, wind suppressor, what do they call that? A, a dead cat fur or something like that. It's not really cat fur, but they call it something like that but it makes a big difference in the wind. So let's hope and pray that the audio is of sufficient quality in the first half of this video to use because it's not every day I get a chance to go rock hounding with Jared from currently rock hounding and Sarah and Stan. So it should be better from here on out. I know. <laughs> so I have no idea for sure. I really don't. I don't have any idea either as well but i'm just gonna guess i mean it could be a lot of things right like look at this stuff that can make a green coloration like you could be chromium in that could have a higher percentage of that and it doesn't take much so um to get like slight color shifts and stuff we're talking about like tiny percentages of of different uh mineralization i mean you can take like rhyolite which could be like very gray very very gray and add just like a couple percentage of iron and it can have like a more tan mm -hmm. to it so it doesn't take a whole lot but that's that's way out of my uh field of expertise yeah because i don't have one of those but uh <laughs> the world of geochemistry is complex yeah. and i only understand a itty bitty bit of it and that's a lot more than i understand i did not uh, successfully find the big green outcropping that i wanted to show jared but this is essentially what it is, only it was a lot bigger. It was like all of this rock would have been green. But this is a good enough example. I hope the sound is working out better. So we found another triangle, yet again. But that shape, over and over again, that's the mystery to me. Yeah, I don't know. What do you think, Dr. Stan? Bottom of the crack in the rocks. Say it again? Bottom of the crack in the rocks. Bottom of the crack in the rocks. Yeah. That makes sense. Kind of like we got some edges of the in situ on this, forms a triangle. Bottom of the cracks of the rocks, and it forms a triangle. Doggone! I think Dr. Stan just might have hit it. You never know when a guy's going to get lucky. <laughs> and this is the road, if you can call it a road. It's still Can you imagine driving like an old like uh oh. what like army jeep or whatever up this? I mean it would not be easy. I don't think anyone's driven up this for a while or Yeah, you know, are you gonna trade your uh, truck in for like a UTV anytime <laughs> no. soon? No, no. So uh 
I like seam agate or seam chalcedony because when this breaks away from this host rock and you see it just the outside here, you're kind of seeing like a, a impression, you're seeing an impression of what that rock was. So it's just kind of a neat way of looking at it. Like you're seeing a, a copy, mm -hmm. seeing a copy mm -hmm. of the rock. It's really cool. Um, a good example of that, the Polina area in Oregon, you have a lot of limb casts. So you have a void and chalcedony float in, and then it broke out, and now you have a uh, agate that looks like a piece of wood, except it's just a casting of it. But then more chalcedony has formed on top of some of those, and that's popped off. So it's an impression of an impression. Really which is cool. just kind of like, it, it's like a, I don't know. It's, I find it would be like a weird way of like thinking about it, but it's really neat. That's really cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really great having Jared and Sarah with, uh, with Stan and I and just, you know, all the heads pulled together trying to figure some of this stuff out. There's a nice piece, I think, right there. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful that's a beautiful piece. What do you think, Shadow? So we were on top of that outcropping right there. And we are parked down by the road. So we're on our way back. And this has been a delightful day by way of weather because it's overcast, slightly windy, and just delightful you know it's been such a hot summer it's so nice to have some cool weather even though we are in the middle of August well we made it back everybody <laughs> we had a great time and Jared I can't thank you enough Sarah I can't thank you enough and Stan and they're gonna take some of these samples back to Jared's laboratory sure I'm gonna see if I can provide any answers to what some stuff is Just look we had a great time shadow and I and our new friends and we really really did have a, a great time together and I can't thank Jared and Sarah enough and Stan and hopefully we can do it again and we hope you join us on future adventures of shadow